Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial video. In today's video we will be installing um, some mods that can help your game to not crash because um, let's say you've been installing some mods recently for GTA 5 and your game can't handle the mods and your game keeps crashing okay or if you're having any kind of crash problems today we're going to try help you resolve these problems so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find our main game directory to find that you want to simply go to steam you want to go ahead and find steam once you're on steam um you want to go to gta 5 then you want to go to the little manage icon once you're on there go to the manage go to the side of there and click browse local files okay once you've done that guys, you can minimise Steam and it should come up like this, okay? Uh, you won't have a mods folder if you've never modded, but you should already have one because you have obviously might have been installing mods and your game's crashing. But if not and your game's randomly crashing, um, it might be a problem with your PC. I'm not really sure, but um, I'm just going to teach you anyway. So the first thing we want to do once we get to here, we want to go back to the common. Once we're back in common, guys, you're going to go ahead and see your game here. You're going to notice I have a copy, okay? I've just got to let you know, I've mentioned this in all my other videos. Make sure you always have a backup version of your game, okay? Because if anything happens to your game main game directory, this one, um, and you don't have a backup here to rename it to GTA 5, then you're going to have to reinstall the game to fix um, the crashes and errors or anything like that you're getting so what we want to go and do go to common once you get there we're going to go ahead and click on the gta 5 your game we're going to go ahead and right click on there and then we're going to go ahead and go to show more options and then we're going to go ahead and copy it okay we want to go ahead and copy this once we've gone ahead and copied the gta 5 we're going to go ahead and go to a blank space by the space we're going to right click, we're going to go to show more options, and then we're going to paste, okay? We're going to paste a copy version, so once that's in there, it might take a bit of a while because it's a full game and it's going to take um, a bit of a while, but don't worry, once it's done, you should see a copy, okay? So whenever something happens to this one, you can simply, um, so say the, this something happens to this game, you can go ahead and rename it to something else not working or whatever you want right whatever you want and then you can rename this to just gta 5 and then launch the game and then it'll run on this okay i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna leave that as copy anyway once you've got a copy make sure you've got that um before you start modding if you don't and you've already been modding then hopefully i can help you with this these crashes you're having or any errors you're gonna get that you're having at the minute i'm gonna try to solve them okay so what we're gonna do is we've got our main game directory up okay we're gonna make sure we have a mods folder we're gonna need it for a certain mod we're installing to stop the crashes so just in case we're gonna go ahead and go to new on here by this blank space in gta 5 your directory go to um, right click go to new go to folder okay and you want to go ahead and name this mods okay name it mods or lowercase just like shown here just like that uh, once you've got a mods folder you can delete that but necessarily need that um but once that's in there uh you should have a mods folder now now as you can see you should be able to see an x64 folder and an update folder okay go ahead and click on the x64 folder and then hold your left control key down on your keyboard down and then also select the update folder once you've done that right click go to show more options and then go ahead and copy copy both of these files here. after that we want to go ahead and go into our mods folder and then you want to go ahead and right click in here then go to show more options and then paste okay so paste the update and x64 again this will take a bit of time but once that's done um you should have these two um in here okay you should have the x64 and update in your mods folder okay 
so once we have done that guys um, we should be able to continue but before we do make sure because it's easier instead of having to go into steam go into the manage icon go into manage and then go into browse local files which i've also mentioned in every other video go to your common okay go ahead and drag your common just underneath the desktop or underneath the downloads okay so then once it says pin to quick access in blue go ahead and put it there so whenever this is closed for example you go to your files explorer here then it'll be there so you click on that and then you can go straight into your gta 5 it's as simple as that guys anyway moving on all the links will be in the description okay guys all the links you'll need will be in the description so the first one we're gonna get if you don't already have it we're gonna rush through all these uh, requirement mods because just in case you have installed mods without the requirements that might be that, that might be why you're having game crashes but anyway we're gonna with winrar okay winrar is basically like um an archive basically it, you can extract files and it makes everything so much easier so again link in the description once you're here it'll take you to this page then you'll see the releases down here choose your bit mine's 64 and then choose your language okay mine is english so it'd be 64 bit uh english and then you want to go ahead and save it by the way guys if you're wondering what my browser is you can download it as well it's all in the description and then once you've downloaded the winrar you're gonna go ahead and open it then it'll say something just press yes and then it'll give you this just click install and then press ok and then press done now you'll have winrar you can go ahead and close this for now because we're uh, not needing that anyway once you've installed winrar we can go on to the next okay so back into the link in the description scripts up the okay if you don't already have this you probably do but just in case if you don't um what you want to do is go to the link in the description select script hook v you'll be directed to this page here go down to the download and then it should say download here click on the download click on the save and then it'll go ahead and download we're going to go ahead and open it as you can see it's in win right now go ahead and open it it will come up uh, with this option the first time just press close on this then minimize your browser for now now we're just going to make it look a bit more neat because we don't want it looking messy so we're going to go ahead and pull this up to the top we're going to do this same okay so as you can see we've got a main game directory up and we've got this script hook v up okay in here there'll be a bin folder a readme and an internet shortcut go ahead and go into the bin folder you'll see three files okay select the script up v.dll and the dimpot8.dll go ahead and drag these two files into your main game directory okay simply like that once you've done that you can go ahead and refresh your gta 5 always refresh so now you've installed script of v you can go ahead and close that go back to the description and then there'll be a link to script of v.net uh, just go into the link you'll be greeted to this page go ahead and go down until you can see the assets of the latest and select the one that says script of v.net zip go ahead and save go ahead and open the winrar file minimize the browser for now top you'll have these files here we're going to select all of these all the files in here except from the license text and the readme text okay once you've got all these files except from these two files here we're going to go ahead and drag and drop them just to the side of here guys just like that there you go now go ahead and refresh that and then close that next we've got is we have got the open iv this is definitely 100 percent required for one of the mods we download to prevent crashes if you don't already have it i'll take you through the tutorial if you do have it then you can just skip this cat uh skip this part of me installing it and teaching you but if you don't have it here you go link in the description for this open iv go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of this page when you get there you'll see a few files here okay go to one the one that says open iv setup underscore offline which is 30 mb okay click on that click on save click on the um, downloads and then go ahead and open it uh, the download you just have the winner minimize browser take it to the top then we can minimize the main game directory for now 
because it is not needed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open the openivsetup.exe. Simply like that. And now it's going to ask you to choose your language. I'm English, so of course it's English. If you're Russian, you can select Russian. But I'm English, so English. And then continue. Once you've done that, now it's just uh, install installing all the necessary files it needs to work. Now it's going to do the license. Um, just accept this. Press continue. Go ahead and click continue. Now it's going to download it. Give it a second, guys. There you go. Now it's going to say it's installed. So go ahead and close it. Now you can see open ID. We're not going to open it for now, but it's there just for now. We can go ahead and close the WinRAR. Here we go. And now we're going to go back into the link in the descriptions. We're going to close this for now, guys. And now the next link is going to be the heap adjuster. Right, these next three files, guys, are going to be the actual things that are going to prevent the game crashes. So if we're going to go ahead and go back into the link in the description, go to heap adjuster, okay? You'll be greeted to this page. Go ahead and go to the versions, go to the current. Go ahead and press this little download button here. Click the big download button. Go ahead and save. And the file come up. Go ahead and open the heap adjuster file. I'm gonna drag it to the top. I'm gonna get our main game directory back up. Uh, once we've got that, we've got the heap adjuster files and we've got our main game directory, okay? So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna select the heap adjuster dot asi and the heap adjuster dot ini file okay we're going to drag both of these files into the gtfi main game directory just like that there we go go ahead and refresh once you've done that and go ahead and close it okay guys so once you've done the heap adjuster close them next we're going to be installing the pack file limit adjuster guys okay so again link in the description go to the pack file limit adjuster you'll be created to this page Go down to the versions, go to the current version that you have for you. Go ahead and click the download, download again, save, go ahead and open that file, minimize this, click it to the top, it's easy. Yeah, um, always read the readmes, but it's, it, for the tutorial purposes you don't need to because I'm obviously teaching you how to do this. So just go ahead and select the pack file limit adjuster.asi and the INI file, okay? Just like the heap adjuster. Go ahead and drag and drop them into the main game directory, not hovering over anything, just at the side here. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and refresh, simply like that. Then we can go ahead and close the pack file limit adjuster. And now we can also go ahead and refresh this and we can also close the GTA 5. Okay guys, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head into OpenIV now, okay? So go ahead and open the OpenIV that you've recently just installed. Now it'll say this here. So select, go to the Grand Theft Auto V, select Windows. Now it's gonna ask you where uh, your Grand Theft Auto V is located. Go to Browse. If you listened to me in the first part of the video, you should have highlighted, put it to quick access, the common. So click on common, click on GTA 5, and there it is. If you don't, just go to this PC. If you didn't do that, go to this PC, local disk, program files, uh, then go ahead, um, is it? Nope, sorry. Go to program files 86, my apologies. Then go down to Steam. Once you're in Steam, go down to Steam apps, go to common. There we go. So it's the same place, basically. Once you're in there, select not the copy, the Grand Theft Auto V. Once you're in there, you've selected that select folder, okay? There we go, it says it can work with this file basically. Press continue. Now it's gonna remind you not to um, back, uh, remind you not to forget to back up your files, which we've already done. Hopefully you did. Continue. It's gonna search the encryption key, just give it a second. There we go guys. Give it a second. Oh it's starting. Here we go. Okay, there we go. So when it opens it should look like this. I'm gonna full screen it and you'll see this okay guys then you'll see something in the corner called edit mode make sure before editing anything or adding new mods or anything make sure edit mode is on so click on edit mode and then it'll say this press yes okay and then you'll it'll say install plugin for gta 5 just click on the asi manager here then it'll come up with this asi loader should already be installed if not then install it and these two as well make sure you install these two Make sure they're all green, all installed. Once they're all installed, press close. Okay, now we're gonna not full screen it. 
and then we're going to put it to the side here pull it up there we go and now we're going to go back to the link in the description guys for the next one which is going to be the game config okay this is a newer version recently so a link in the description you'll be great to this page of the game config go ahead and go to the versions go to the current version go ahead and go to the download green download button click download and click download here click save and then it should open with winrar again give it a second to download there you go go ahead and open it go ahead and minimize the browser drag it up to the top okay guys you'll see some files here and you'll see your open id first thing we're going to go you'll see old versions you'll see backup the configs some old versions and some reads uh readme files okay text documents um to find out if your version's an older version or if it's a newer version for the latest version uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into old versions okay and then we're gonna go back into our file explorer go back to common uh, if you don't know go to this pc local disk or whatever you've got go to program files 86 go ahead and go to steam and go to steam apps go to common and then go to grand theft auto v okay that's how you find your game okay now we're going to go down until you can see the gta5 application.exe go ahead and click on it right click on it show more options and then go ahead and go to your properties then you'll see this little window pop up go to the details and then you'll see the file version okay this is the file version if you can see this in here in the older versions any of these so if you just hover over any any versions of these that look like that right click on it and then continue with the tutorial but mine is a newer version for the 2.9 so i've got the newest version so i click on this and then i'll select uh for more mods um do select for more mods it depends on you if you're installing less mods or more mods but i'm probably going to install more mods so more mods and then you'll see this here guys same for the older versions you guys will also see this as well we're going to go ahead and select uh, it's up to you if you're going to install a lot of mods select the uh, zero one times traffic and one times pets but i'm just going to go with the stock traffic the gta basic i'm going to go in there and then same with this one as well you'll see the game config now so we can go ahead and close these two as well okay so in here whatever you pick you'll see a game config.xml so we're gonna go back into our open iv and in here make sure edit mod is on guys um go to you'll see your mods folder go ahead and go into your mods folder then go to update then once you're in update go to update.rpf then go to common then go to data and then you'll see this all of these files in here and if you go down a bit you'll see a, a file called gameconfig.xml same in here gameconfig.xml okay once we drag and we'll replace that file with this um and then it'll be done basically so once you see that in here follow that path go ahead and drag the gameconfig.xml into the here just into here okay go ahead and let go and then it should say compress now it shouldn't say encrypted it just should say compress once it says that that means you're done go ahead and close your win right now back here and close that finally there we go now we can go ahead and close our open iv as well once you've closed that you can open your gta 5 like you normally would do and now you should not have any crashes okay if you still do have crashes please comment down below and i'll try my best to help you but um it should work and if that does work then have fun in your gta 5 modding or whatever you're gonna be doing anyway that's the end of the video guys i would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe as i am a new content creator and i'm trying my best to help you guys out anyway guys um see you guys later and um yeah goodbye